We have just concluded a meeting of the Presidential Infrastructure Coordinating Commission Council. The council, which is chaired by the president, brings together ministers, premiers, and executive mayors in one structure to coordinate infrastructure development in the country. We would like to congratulate Wurz University on the major new fossil discoveries at Maropain in the cradle of humankind, World Heritage Site in the West Rand, Gauteng, which was unveiled today. They continue to put our country on the global map through such remarkable and outstanding work. In 2011, when we established the PICC, the economy was recovering from the contraction caused by the 2008 global financial crisis that had rapidly spread across the world. Our national infrastructure plan was introduced as means of boosting jobs and expanding the foundations of long-term growth. Since that decision, we have made steady strides with infrastructure investment and public employment programs. Today, the economy is facing renewed headwinds caused by a decline in the prices of mineral products that we export. It is also caused by a glut, a glut of steel in global markets and weakening demand in Asia, compounded by steel weak growth in Europe. It is for this reason at this meeting, as the three spheres of government, we undertook a serious dis discussion of our infrastructure program to see where we should remove bottlenecks and speed up delivery. The PICC Council took note of the nine-point plan that was announced in the February State of the Nation Address. In the recent cabinet, the Hotla, we identified a number of actions to strengthen this foundation. We identified a 120-day period to fast-track our work and enable blockages to be overcome. This focus on jobs, education, uh, energy, transport logistics, water and sanitation, housing, broadband, health infrastructure, industrialization, and state capacity. We received the first of three reports on implementation. One example of this is the progress with increasing our power supply. While we can celebrate some of the successes with infrastructure, 
I requested the PICC Council to <clears throat> concentrate on what we still need to do. Some of the areas of work that we need to focus on are the following. The need to ensure the completion of the remaining Medupi power station units and the other two power stations, Kusile and Ingula, on deadline. This is important because energy remains a major obstacle to economic growth. We must find solutions to shortage of student accommodation given the frustration of many of our young people nationwide. We should speed up the refurbishment of hospitals and schools. We must revitalize the program of installing solar water geysers. The departments were directed to obtain the funding necessary to move the country towards the target of 1.4 million geysers in the next four years. These are just a few of the projects which will help us improve social and economic infrastructure while also providing jobs, skills, training, and opportunities. <coughs> we did not necessarily calculate. The council meeting today introduced a new tone of focus, agency, and dedicated implementation. We agreed that we need to improve the pace in order to meet the targets we have set ourselves. If we do that, the infrastructure program will yield the desired results. Difficulties arise from time to time such as the impact of the current global economic downturn and the length of time it is taking to reverse the legacy of apartheid. However, working together as South Africans, we continue the journey to achieve our mission of building a truly united, non-sexist, non-racial, non and prosperous South Africa.